All right. So I couldn't help myself. I was supposed to go for a long run today and not look at my watch, but I actually looked at my watch um, and it bloody influenced what I did. Uh, just because halfway through, oh, not even halfway through my run, probably 10 minutes into my run, I thought, well, I'll try something else. I'll try and, uh, I heard some information in regards to you run in the morning and then you run in the evening. So basically you get your, your Ks up uh, doing two runs for the day. So I had that sort of thinking in my head because my performance was plus four on my Garmin and it's sort of driving me a little bit nuts because on one hand, I, I like listening to my Garmin um, and going by the data on there. I like when my VO2 max goes up. I don't like it when it says unproductive. I know when it's gonna say unproductive because if I go, say, more than half my run in the negatives with the performance figure, then I know when I get back it's gonna say unproductive and therefore it's a way back to get back to productive again. And I like it, I like that thing. So there's a few things sort of going on there. I go by feels and Look, until I get about, I think, around to where I was before, and that's, uh, you know, basically my VO2 max was going up, um, I probably will listen to it. But what I might do, and what I did today, basically it started going down. So it was plus four, plus three, plus two. When I got around plus two, I sort of started making my way back, thinking that, like... I'm going to go for a run tonight and just see what happens. See when I head out tonight, if it's back up to say plus three, plus four, if it's actually when I go for a run tonight, all of a sudden it's like zero or negative straight away when I run, then that'll be interesting. That'll be something that I can make note of. If in fact it is actually in the pluses again, I can get some more Ks in my legs. So look, it's probably just because the marathon that I'm sort of aiming for at the moment is a fair way away. I'm just doing some experimentation. Um, so yeah, generally would be on a long run today. Cut it short because of the plus four, plus three, plus two, plus one. And with the knowledge that, yeah, it was only three weeks ago that I pushed the hardest I've ever pushed in regards to a marathon. And from what I've read, it can take you a bit longer to recover. So, um, and in saying that before the marathon with the breaks I was having when I was tapering, the figures were good. So you can't just, and, and I ran a good marathon. So I can't just say, hey, look, just base it all on fields. Don't listen to your Garmin. When it was, the Garmin was really accurate in regards to leading up to the marathon. And well, I, I perceived it was accurate because of the fact that I did run really well and I had heaps in the tank. I didn't bonk at all, and that's probably to do also with the carb loading that I did for three days beforehand, which worked. Um, so in the end, at the moment, just seeing if my garment's in tune with my body, um, see what happens if I go for a long run tonight. I know I went against what I said I was going to do today, but I sort of decided in the moment that that was going to be the case. I did go up a little bit of an incline today, like the hill was went up a fair bit at the end because I want to introduce hills back into my running just uh, when I'm going for a bit longer run. So yeah, anyway, I've got maybe go for a run tonight to see what happens. If it turns into a short, if I go out and it's going to be negative, then I might turn into a shorter run. Um, and then I've got spin tomorrow night, which will be, I'll probably just keep it at spin just to give myself another break from the impact of running and then probably go for a run on Tuesday, depending. Oh, and the other thing this morning is I, my resting heart rate was up, which is like, when you think about it, that's one of the things that I really rely on and I nearly didn't go for a run today. And I thought, okay, well, my resting heart rate is up to 60 when it's been 57. Is, is that gonna make an impact? So it could have, 
and that's why I had to cut things short today and that's why that performance level come down pretty quick halfway into it all right anyway um video log number probably three this is number three um doesn't really worry me if no one sees these but at least i've got some sort of debriefing going on after the run and in the end um learn things that may if anyone ever watches this help other people um but it's definitely helping me in regards to debriefing um, rather than just talking to myself or actually putting something on paper. Um, this helps as well and I'll be able to look back on it. So, all right. So I'll, I'll log in after I go for a run tonight. Hopefully I'll get one in. I should be able to. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see how it goes because but also is saying 17 hours recovery. So the, the recovery is right up. Like that's a lot of recovery time uh, for a fairly short run as well. So it's all going in line with the fact that I haven't really quite recovered from the marathon and I need to give myself more breaks. So that's why it's going to be interesting. It says train as usual, but it does say 17 hours recovery. So let's see how it starts off tonight. I might just turn around and come home straight away if it's in the negatives or, or plus zero straight away. All right. Anyway, I'll see you later.